Uh, the dog owner is telling me one thing. The Animal Foundation is telling me another. It seems like there was a miscommunication between the two, but when all is said and done, the dog is gone and his owner is upset about how everything happened. This is Jax. Earlier this month, he became very sick. The vet said if he didn't get better, he would have to be put down. So Jax's owner, Rhonda Reynolds, paid several hundred dollars to treat him. They gave him a bunch of medication, antibiotics and stomach pills and diarrhea pills and that didn't help. After treatment failed, she took the vet's advice and had her beloved pet euthanized. She asked that a paw print be taken of Jack so she could have something to remember him by. Something similar to what she had done to another one of her pets. But when the company hired to do it went to pick up Jack's remains at the Animal Foundation, it was too late. Jax was gone. The mortuary called me and said that they had lost my dog. And I asked him, how do you lose, how do you lose dog? How does that happen? The Animal Foundation sent me a statement saying that according to its records, Reynolds never specified she wanted an individual cremation. So Jax was tagged to be in a communal cremation. Did you specifically tell them you wanted him individually cremated? I did, I did. Because that's the only way you can get that acrylic. Because they take the paw print, when they get the dog, they take the paw print and then they do what they have to do. Jax ended up being cremated with several other dogs, and now Reynolds has nothing to remember him by. And they didn't just lose him, they put him on a pile with a bunch of other dogs. That's not okay, he didn't deserve that. He deserved better. <laughs> Reynolds was reimbursed for the money that she paid to have Jax's paw print placed in acrylic. And she says she doesn't want anything from the Animal Foundation, just that this never happens to anyone else. Reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.